top 10 best boozy fragrances. Now we know there are so many fragrances on the market that have either rum or cognac or whiskey or a pina colada vibe or a margarita accord and these are all fantastic boozy fragrances that are going to put you in the mindset of consuming a cocktail or a spirit neat or on the rocks or however you wish to consume it. I'm going to be talking to you about these 10 fragrances in just a little bit so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I tell you about these top 10 boozy fragrances, what alcoholic drink they smell like, what I get from them, how I personally feel about them. I'm going to give you all of the details in just a little while. But before I dive into the video, I do want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So boozy fragrances, there's no shortage of boozy fragrances on the market. Thank goodness, because especially as we're entering the fall in winter months. We want something that is a bit warmer, richer, darker, spicier, something that has a bit of that boozy kick. And thankfully, there are so many options to choose from. And so there's really no shortage of booze inspired fragrances out there. Let's go ahead and start things off with one that's a bit on the refreshing side of things. This is Blue Gin by Misson Seer. So of course, this has a gin accord. So you know what that means. Juniper berry. A lot of citrus in the opening. You have this astray stringent juniper ingredient in here and it's actually very smooth very well done there's a bit of sharpness in the opening but it dries down to something smooth and it does have this compliment getting appeal that i really enjoy so this is the brand of master perfumer alberto morias he started his own brand many years ago and i have so many from this brand Anticonformist. There's a beautiful amber offering that I have as well. I think it's called Ambre Magique. Beautiful fragrance. Blue Gen is the boozy offering that this brand has to offer. It's such an amazing fragrance. And of course, when we're talking about the brand Frappin, this is a cognac brand, right? They were established in 1270, hence the name of this fragrance. And of course, this has a lot of dried fruits. It's sweet, it's warm, it's ambery, and they do have an extreme or an intense version. So of course, you can opt to go for that one. But this one is fantastic. I think this one, the original, is composed by Sidonie Lenkitzer, and the extreme version is composed by Jerome Epinet. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I remember. So this is a beautiful, boozy, dried fruits type Type of a fragrance vanilla you have these amber tendencies in the dry down as well now of course no boozy list would be complete without the mention of angel share by killian paris this is an amazing fragrance it has a little bit of that cinnamon spice in here as well it's warm it's addictive it's this rich beautiful boozy composition and this is the for a lot of people quintessential autumn perfume every time i bring this one out i always have to smell it to remind myself and it is such a rich fragrance. And of course, it also kind of reminds me of Ouajan by Parfum de Marly. So if you like that warm, ambery, cinnamony vibe, you're going to get it in Angel's Share. And of course, Killian is related to Hennessy. I mean, he's, you know, Killian Hennessy is his full name. And so you all know about the Hennessy brand. And of course, you know, you might even like consuming Hennessy, but this is a beautiful, rich, ambery, cinnamon-based fragrance. Now, of course, as an alternative to it, you can get Intoxicate by Lafed. They dry down to something similar. I will admit in the opening, Angel Share is a bit stronger and a bit richer, but Intoxicate by Lafed, this one, yeah, it's gonna open up with that cinnamon boozy, that similar vibe that you're gonna get in Angel Share. And of course, it will come as no surprise to anybody that there are going to be similarities between the two. The presentation is very similar as well, with the exception of the cap, which kind of has like this, I know it's not real, but it kind of has like this mother of pearl appearance on the cap, and this is super inexpensive. So I suspect that a lot of people will be purchasing this as an alternative to Angel Share. I had to get myself a bottle of it just so I can see what the buzz is about. And this is a really wonderful alternative. Now, here is one that a lot of people say is an alternative to Angel Share, but it does do things in its own way. It actually leans a bit sweeter to my nose. This one by La Tafa is called Kamra. Now, of course, with this fragrance, it does have this sort of um, 
I like to say this praline vibe. So it does open up a lot sweeter, not as spicy as Angel Share. Yes, it still does embody a lot of those spicy tendencies, but this one has its own distinguishable scent profile where as soon as I smell this one, I know I'm smelling Kamra and not Angel Share. Now, can they be worn for the same occasions? Absolutely. Can they be worn to satisfy the same vibe or aura? 100%. So it wouldn't be fair for me to say they're totally different because they're not. I mean, even when you look at the presentation, you can see that they bear a lot of similarities. The color of the liquid, the sort of, you know, beautiful aesthetic to the bottle here. It's just, it's a gorgeous presentation, but it's the juice inside that counts. And Kamra is beautiful. I also have Kamra Kahwa, which has this added coffee note. Also sweet, but Kamra is the one that gives off more of a boozy vibe, I would say. Sometimes that booziness is lost with all of those sweet ingredients. By Navitus Parfum, we have Exo Brandy. This one is this beautiful brandy-based perfume. Also has this dates ingredient in here. So it has this dried fruit vibe, very different from 1270 by Frappin. This one is a little spicy as well, but it has this smoothness about it that is beyond compare. I mean, this is a really gorgeous fragrance. I also compared it to Dulce Diablo, which is another fragrance that I think is worthy of a mention, but this one has that explicit boozy note listed in the note breakdown. It's really more of an accord, but it's really wonderfully done. We also have by Paris Corner, beautiful presentation with the Fleur de at the top, December vanilla. So this is vanilla and rum. If you're a fan of rum, you like that spicy vibe that rum gives off, but you also want a touch of sweetness in the dry down. December vanilla, and you don't have to wait until December to wear it, right? You can wear this one right away. And this is kind of cool. It has a picture of vanilla on the back. It has this sort of a pseudo, somewhat reflective plate on the front and the back. I mean, the presentation for this one is so good considering the price of this fragrance. When last time I looked up online, it was going for a really good price. So it has rum, vanilla, orchid, and jasmine, spicy notes, leather, tonka bean, rose, creme brulee. Just sounds amazing. Brown sugar, amber, oud, patchouli, sugar, and musk but it's really vanilla and rum, basically. Now, in the number three spot, I wanted to give something a little different. So not whiskey, not cognac, not rum. Grilled Citrus Margarita by the Dua brand. Now, this brand has so many boozy original creations, but of course, going with something that is a bit more on the fresh side of things is kind of hard to find with a boozy fragrance. Even if we're talking about something like Virgin Island Water by Creed, which is this pina colada type of a fragrance. Even that is relaxing and, you know, reminiscent of a cocktail, but it's not fresh, right? So this one is fresh because of all the citrus that's in here. So it's a really solid fragrance. In the number two spot, now I know you can't find this presentation anymore. It used to be an exclusive to New York. I think now the only thing you can find correct me if I'm wrong, is Apple Brandy on the rocks, but by Killian Paris, this is the original Apple Brandy. And of course, this has that fruity tendency. It has the brandy in here. Oh, it's such a good fragrance. This and Single Malt are two of my favorite Killian Paris fragrances. They are just so well done. And again, it's one of those fragrances where you spray it on and it automatically induces a state of relaxation. It's so cozy and it's so delectable. And I really love this particular fragrance. Now, the fragrance in the number one spot. I purchased this fragrance many, 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 many years ago. It was one of the first, if not the first fragrance that I ever bought from this brand. I smelled it. I got a sample from Lucky Scent a very long time ago. And as soon as I smelled it, I fell in love with it. And I remember just smelling my hand intermittently throughout the day. And I said, you know what? One day I'm going to buy a bottle of this fragrance. And it has this spicy, gorgeous imperial rum vibe about it. And the rum in here is so natural smelling and there's never been another fragrance to do it quite the way that this one does it. And I just really, it's a love for me. Also by Killian Paris, a lot of Killians on this list makes sense though. This one is called Straight to Heaven. And of course this one, I haven't worn it in a long time. Oh my goodness, yeah. Nothing is going to replicate the vibe and sensation of this particular fragrance. That rum ingredient in the opening is so rich. I can't get enough of it. One of my favorites of all time. So let me know, are you a fan of boozy fragrances the way that I am? I personally love that cozy aspect about them. They just make you feel 
warm and they make you feel very tranquil and they also put you in the mindset of the types of fragrances that are desirable right around this time of the year fall and winter specifically so let me know what are your favorite boozy fragrances drop your comment down below and also if you took anything of value from today's episode i would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting the channel by clicking subscribe hitting the bell and also giving this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm it would really mean a lot to me Thanks again so much for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.